What is going on rocket powered sound designers in today's video? I have a little something special for you guys We're gonna be checking out the FFT editor inside of serum now This is something that not too many serum users actually use they see it there all the time But they're like nah, I don't want to touch that but today We're touching it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you heard me we're touching this bad boy and guys believe it or not You know it could look pretty horrifying Oh my gosh, what the hell does this even do? But once we get into it, it's pretty basic and I can't wait to show you guys. Let's get started right now. At whatever point in the video, by the way, that you think this is a useful or awesome tutorial, make sure you click that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, I don't even know what to tell you. Click that subscribe button because we got Serum tutorials coming out on a weekly basis that you need to watch. Now getting started in the FFT editor, First things first, we want to go ahead and clear all for this demonstration if you want to learn with me. So we now that we have a blank space, we can go ahead and go straight into the learning. First things first, we have two layers to our FFT editor. We have the top layer and the bottom layer. The top layer represents all the frequencies that make up a waveform or the harmonics. And the bottom layer represents the offset of the phase that we can go ahead and change. Now for an example. Uh, let's go ahead and turn up bin number one to 100 percent now guys this percentage that you're going to see right here oops my bad the percentage that you guys see it says bin number one and we have a percentage next to it that is the amplitude of the waveform now all the bins are sine waveforms and i'm going to get get into that in just a second so now that we have bin number one turned up all the way we can go ahead and like i said offset the phase with the bottom layer we can go ahead and turn this to around 50% and we immediately flipped the waveform. We're just offsetting the phase. Pretty simple. Now that's going to do that. Um, or each, each top layer bin has a designated bottom layer. So, you know, if I were to do, do this on bin number two and I chose the one down here, bin number nine, you know, obviously we're not doing anything here. They work in unison together. Perfect. We got that easiness cleared easiness <laughs> now we also see a zoom slider here uh the more that we turn it up the more zoom that we have on the fft editor now there's a total of 512 bins but you know we're not really going to be working on the ones all the way out there let's go ahead and you know start to get into the interesting stuff now all of the highlighted areas here you're going to realize oh why are these specific bins highlighted. Well, the reasoning for that is because they are all individual octave changes, up one. So we start off with a sine waveform here. Okay, I'll just stay on one note. Here we are. And then if we turn up bin two, oh, we're on an octave change, up one. Oops, we go up bin four. Now we're up three up eight now we're up four pretty cool right um or i'm sorry up three wait yep one two three i'm sorry now if we turn up bin eight again just by doing a little bit of counting here you're going to realize one two three four five six seven eight we have eight copies of the waveform uh, playing at once so the bins are all how many cycles of a single sine waveform are going to be playing in an individual cycle Pretty simple, cool. Now, this is when we start to get a little interesting. We can turn up bin one, set, and this is going to be our fundamental frequency, and we can turn up bin number eight. So now we have both a uh, our standard sine waveform or our fundamental frequency, and then up three octaves, and they're both mixing together to form something that sounds like this. And we could turn up more. Okay, pretty cool. So now we're gonna go ahead and get into the menu items. Now, we wanna be making some cool waveforms, kind of like, for an example, if we were to go into our spectral and select like Monster 6, this is pretty complex. Say we wanted to make something like this, this button right, right here will go ahead and convert it over from the wave into the FFT. So this is when our menu options really start to get fun they, it's like fun i love working in this and i'm sure you guys will too hopefully by the end of the video now uh you're gonna realize when we right click anywhere in the fft editor 
we have a series of menu items. I'm gonna be going through each one of these and they're pretty simple. Well, not every single one. For the most part, they are pretty straightforward uh, once you get the hang of it. So clear HF stands for clear higher frequencies or the frequencies above the bin that we selected. So we're on bin 24. If I were to um, clear the higher frequencies then automatically every single frequency that goes above bin 24 is now removed. Also to keep in mind, I didn't already say this, but you know, it's kind of straightforward. Um, the octave or the pitch change goes from you know our fundamental frequency and then it only goes higher so we're really only working with the higher frequencies as we start to go off go up and that's why it says clear higher frequencies now we can go ahead and undo that with the undo button and let's convert that again and now we could do the same but only on the lower side so we could do clear low lower frequencies from 23. Now, obviously, it sounds like ass because we're missing out on our fundamental frequency, um, but, you know, not a big deal. We can go ahead and undo that. I mean, I really don't understand why anyone would particularly use that part, um, but, you know, it's up to you guys. You guys are making your own sounds. I'm sure you can whip up something unique, and that's what we're all about. We're making unique basses, baby. Now, next on the menu, we have randomize low 16 bins now we have bin 16 and now it's going to randomize if we go ahead and do this it's going to randomize all the bins up to the lowest 16 so these low 16 bins are all randomized from a value from 0 to 100 if I do it again ready here repeat action see all it's doing is it's randomly um, selecting bins in between 0 to 16 and then um, dropping some amplitude to 0 and some going up all the way to 100%. Now the same thing goes for 32 except we're on a range from 0 to 32 and same with 64. You guys get the idea. But now when we introduce with half, some are enabled to go at halfway. So we have amplitudes of 0, 50%, and 100%. Pretty interesting, huh? And we, when we do that, we get some really interesting harmonic combinations. I think it sounds really cool. All right, so that's, that's pretty cool. We gotta move on to the next area. Now we have randomize all. I'm sure you guys can imagine what that does. It just sounds like garbage. Uh, not really my kind of sound here. Now we also have create random series gaps. And what this does was, or what this was, what? What this will do is it will randomly drop groups of harmonics amplitudes to zero. So it randomly clears out um, certain harmonics here. Pretty straightforward. If I were to let's say do a progressive fade. This is when things start to get fun. Oh, I just wanna get a little bit more on the lower end here to show you. Uh, progressive fade. It creates almost like, a, uh, what's it called? What's the math curve? Uh, I'm drawing a blank here, an exponential curve here. exponential decay all across it literally progressively fades the bins amp from left to right just as it says progressive fade um like i was saying guys um <laughs> it these menu options just do what they say what it sounds like it would do for example shift octave up hmm, i wonder what that does now okay i'm gonna undo that uh move this back and I wanna show you guys something. Oh, we're, I'm gonna progressively fade this again. Oops. All right, I messed something up, but sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Ah, don't do what I'm doing. I just wanna show you guys something really quick. If I randomize all, 
which makes it sound bad because now all of these frequencies are at different amplitudes, um, especially the ones on the higher end. If I go ahead and progressively fade this, it cleans it up and gives it a nice uh, fundamental frequency and altogether a lower, more, just has a bass to the sound, you know? It sounds good. Now, finally, I wanna leave you guys with some handy tools here, uh, such as when we hold the command note or on, on uh, PCs, I believe it is the control key, um, you're gonna realize we have a bunch of bins highlighted. Now that's gonna give us the control to, to move all of these bins to whatever amplitude we choose. Also, if we hold the Alt key, it allows us to make a nice linear slope onto any of these. Just hold Alt and drag. And finally, if we want to just edit a singular bin without accidentally uh, messing up and moving a bunch of them, we can just hold the Shift key and that will just simply move the singular one. Well, that was one heck of a tutorial. I thought it was a lot of fun to explain this because guys, this is a load of fun. For example, you know what? If you guys are st still sticking around, um, I have a bunch of videos in the description that I highly recommend you guys go check out, especially the uh, how to make unique, amazing bases in Serum because they that tutorial is awesome. I actually go into a little FFT because the FFT is what's gonna make you unique and it's what's gonna set you apart in this generic industry. Well, without further ado, you guys know who I am if you don't already. My name is Shane from Rocket Powered Sound and you are officially a Rocket Powered Sound Designer. You're checking out this video, you're learning, all that stuff. We're the new breed of sound designers. Anyways guys, without further ado, I will catch you guys in the next serum tutorial.